everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you all my favourite and least favourite video of the year to film. This is my end of year makeup tease. So I'm literally sat on my bed surrounded by all of the makeup and fragrance items that I finished in 2019. It is crazy. Um, there is an ungodly amount of powder, like ridiculous amounts of powder. I, I'm shocked. Um, there's just there's a lot here. Um, so before I jump into it, the numbers. I finished a crazy 122 makeup items, valuing £636.49. I know for like how many I finished, that's not like the biggest like number total, but my collection is pretty much all drugstore. Like I don't have like that many expensive pieces. Um, I'm a drugstore girl. I also finished eight fragrance items, valuing at thirty-four pounds and five pence, because the majority were body sprays. But like that's so much stuff I'm moving out. I mean, I did move a lot of stuff in this year as well. But you know, rotating. Um. I am not going to go into like in depth into each individual item. I will link below my emptied playlist where I've talked about all of these products and what I've thought of them. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you everything in this video. And yeah, there's a lot. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you it all. I also like, I hope you enjoy these videos as much as me. I just find them so satisfying to like see what's on my finish. Like to I'm excited. It's going to be a long in. Um, I'd get some snacks, a drink, go for a little toilet break before you continue watching. Be comfortable. Um, I'm going to start with the fragrances and then we'll do a nail polish and then we'll work through the makeup, how I'd apply it to my face. So for body sprays and mists, I have Bake My Day and Gelato from Zoella. Didn't like either of those. Um, I will like, before I go too far in, um, like I said, I'm just going to kind of run you through everything, but any like standout loves and hates, I will mention. And Spa Cherry Body Mist, just a little mini. Secret Sass Champagne and Strawberries. And the Des Delicious Destinations Beach Bay Body Mist, which is pineapple and Taillere flower scented. Um, I have two of the next fragrances I have gold and white amber they were nice like everyday fragrances this I did love this is the Yves Russia Quelles Notes de More I don't really know but this was the bottle oh my god it's not so beautiful I finished nine nail polishes I've got the Barry M Base Coat Top Coat and Nail Hardener the Barry M Wet Set Quick quick dry top coat, the SE Speed Setter Ultra Fast Dry Top Coat, and the Nails Ink Westminster Bridge Matte Top Coat. I hated this. And then there's five coloured ones. This on I loved. This was such a pretty good test from Primark. I got this in like a gift set a few years ago, many years ago. Um, the Lola Barcelona Birch Box Collaboration in the shade Born. Tiny Burn Mini Marshmallows. I did love this one as well. Also loved this, um, Barry M Silvery Lilac, and then I have a silver glitter from Seventeen, which I can't get Seventeen anymore. So for the actual makeup, I do count nail polish as makeup because, as Jessica Lee says, it cosmetically alters the colour of your nails temporarily. Um, yeah, but um, for the rest of the makeup, like the face makeup, I will show it to you in pretty much the order I'd apply it. So for primers, I have. Oh, I have eight. I have the Primark Matte Primer. This NWX Studio Photogenic Base Primer. I got this off eBay. It was it was a mistake. MUA Wonder Vanishing Cream Primer. This has been discontinued, and I'm so sad because I loved this so much. Um, and the Mac Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Illuminating Base. Just a mini. And then I have two of the MUA Pro Base Mattified Flawless Primers and two of the Banana Blur, Banana Blur Primers. I enjoyed these. 
why I've got so many. For colour for color corrected concealers, I have six. I have three of the Collection Lasting Perfections in Lemon, which is my favourite under eye like colour corrector. This was hideous. Um, I was tempted to do a top five and bottom five, but I just feel like I have a lot of things I really didn't like. Um, this was the MUA Pro Base Primer Conceal in yellow. Hideous. The Revolution Conceal and Correct in banana. This was nice if you want something that's not super yellow. And the Barry and Flawless Colour Correcting Wand. One of the reasons, you know, I'm getting off track all the time, time, time. One of the reasons I'm also not going in depth for everything is because, firstly, some of these products I forgot I used up because like, this is a year's worth of stuff we finished. Like, a year is a long time. I know they fly by, but when you look at how much like, makeup you finished in a year, you realise it's a long time. But also, something like this that I used at the beginning of the year, I don't really remember what I thought of it, which obviously means it was fine. But yeah, my part behind me is getting quite large. And then for like normal concealers, like a concealer concealer. I have the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin in Fair, the Lottie London Got It Covered Concealer in Shell, I loved this one. Also loved this, the ELF 16 hour, 16 hour Camo Concealer in Medium Sand, MUA Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer in 110, this was okay. Uh, Revolution Conceal and Define in C3. Flawless Light Reflecting Concealer from Barry and this is my least favourite one for the year. Primark My Perfect Color Liquid Concealer in Porcelain. And the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Concealer in Light. This is a nice concealer, it's just that the shade was too dark. The foundations, we have seven. Um, two of the Rimmel Lasting Finish foundations, I have two ivory and soft beige. Uh, used to love these like nights out mixed together. My Holy Grail, Rimmel Stay Matte and True Ivory. Two of the Revolution Matte Base Pool Glow and Full Coverage Foundations. I have F6 and 6.5, which 6 was, I preferred to 6.5 because 6 is a little bit darker, which is weird. Um, oh, I forgot a primer. The Barry and Flawless Original Primer. I missed that one. That was nice. Collection, Warm Beige, Lasting Perfection Weightless Foundation. And this I forgot about, but I loved this. Um, Covergirl True Blend and Creamy Natural. Loved this. Forgot about that one. And then for my ungodly pile of powders, we have six loose powders. Um, this one, the Bella Pierre Banana Setting Powder, there wasn't a huge amount of this at the start of the year. So, like, that's okay. But, like, still, um, I've got the Natural Collection Translucent Powder. Didn't like that. Collection Shirley's Powder in Barely There. Oh yeah, this has product in because it's a different powder that's currently in there, so need to keep that out. W7 Banana Dreams and Matte Dreamer. Did really like both of these. This I hated. The Primark My Perfect Color Loose Mineral Powder in Ivory. For pressed powder, it says... Oh my god. 11. 11 pressed powders. Like, I'm disgusting. I'm oily, so it's okay, but like, 11. Revolution Matte Base Powder in P4. Hated. MUA Transparent Press Setting Powder. Did not like. Makeup Gallery Smoothie Does It Press Powder in Natural Beige. Actually, not too bad. Two of the model's own grand finale pressed powder in rose beige. To be fair, a lot of these powders do like had like less than like eight grams of product. So, um, Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation uh, powder in Sandstorm. Don't get the hype on that one. My fave, the collection of pressed powders in candlelight. That my fave. Cyo matte pressed powder in fair medium. W7 Micro Matte Fix Flawless Face Powder in Light and the MUA Press Powder in Shade 2. I have five setting sprays. Normally I do setting spray last, but I'm doing like the face products all together. Um, I have the Revolution Matte Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. The W7 The Fixer Face Spritz Long Lasting Makeup Fixer. It wasn't I didn't like this, I just felt like this was tiny. 
and it's just not good value for money. These are the two that I'd probably repurchase. The Bar uh, Barrier and Flawless Mist and Fix Matte Finish Stay Spray and the MUA Pro Base Mattifying Fixing Spray, which I finished up two off. I've got two bronzers. I've got the Natural Collection Sun, Sun Tint Bronzer Color in Sunshine, which I love. It's like, I don't know why I'm showing it to you. It's like quite red tone, it's really pretty. And then the Freedom Pro Contour Kit in Medium. Um, I only finished up, like this shade was a bit too dark, I'd never be able to get through that. But like the lighter shi shade side, that shade was like, I loved it. I wish I could get this again because I really liked it. Um, this I was not a huge fan of just because I don't like this kind of product. Um, the Trifle Cosmetics Lip, Lip and Cheek Jam. And then my So Susan Universal Blush, which I really like. I have four highlighters. Um, I finished up one of the shades in my Sleek Solstice palette, and the shade here, which was Hemisphere. I do count these as all individuals because there's a lot, of, like you know, there's quite a bit of product in them. And unlike an eyeshadow palette where you kind of buy the shades to wear together, I feel like you kind of buy these to use individually. So yeah, those shades are all just a bit too silver for me. And the other pressed highlighter finished was from Models Model Co. and it's in the shade Froze. It was like a pinky one. It was pretty. Nothing like spectacular. And then I have two liquids. I've got the Mimi Me Beat the Blues in Pearl Pink. This is like Benefit High Beam. Yes. And this is the Collider Cosmetics Astrolite Highlighter. Did not like this. It was way too dark for me. I mix this with the lotion. Um, for eyeshadow, I have two creams. The Rimmel Scandalize in Bluffing. I loved this. I wish they still made these because I absolutely loved this. It was a really nice taupey shade. And then I've got my Ico Fat Eye Stick in the shade Satin, which again was like a taupey shade, but not a big not a fan, a bigger fan of that. The Sleek Iron Cheek Palette in All Day Soiree. This thing is like super grubby inside because I've been repressing things into it. I'm going to hang on to this to repress things into. I'm actually going to like go through this pile and see what I can keep to repress things into because I didn't do that last year and it would have been handy to do. But I, I did like this palette, it was a good little travel palette. And two of the e.l.f. quads, I have Day to Night and Nymph Dreams, both of them still have a shade left because this looks like a black and this was a hideous like yellowy gold. Um, but these quads, I wish e.l.f. would bring these back because although they were a bit hit or miss, they were cute and like perfect for like, you know, perfect makeup bag size little quads and they typically had like a look in them that was very few that were just like random shades. For eyeliners, I have three liquid liners. I don't get through liquid liner that quickly. This was hideous. The Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner, awful. Got like just awful. Got the Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. I'm not a big fan of this either. Like it's okay, but it's not my fave. This one I really like, the MUA Eye Definer. I felt like I had another eyeliner. Did I not finish up the collection one this year? Was that last year? I don't know. But yeah, that's nice. And then for pencils, two retractable ones. I've got the Model Co. Black. This was just okay. This was awful. The Revolution Amazing Inner Eye Brightener. So it was like a nude brightening pencil, like right up my alley, but like dry and hideous and just didn't really work. Um, I've got MUA. Snow White, I dropped one. Rimmel Scandalizer Nude, I liked that, I would get that one again. Two Soap and Glory Smolder Coals, um, Super Black and Cocoa Bean. Super Black, I absolutely will repurchase, it's like my favourite thing for my waterline. Cocoa Bean, um, maybe when I run out of browns. The Unique Mood Struck Precision Eyeliner and Prosperous, it was nice but not something I'd repurchase, and this also was not great the Pop Beauty Cold Gel Pencil in City Black. I've got five mascaras, three minis and two full sizes. The full size is the Revlon Volume and Length Magnified, it was just okay. This is my new favourite mascara, the Collection Lash Surge in Ultra Black. Full effect mascara, loved it, did everything I wanted to. It's my fave. My fave. And then of the minis, there's the Clinique High Impact Mascara. It was just okay. 
benefit they're real um nice but not worth like how hard it is to remove like it'd be okay if you had a mini and just used it like occasionally for everyday use if you don't get this all off like by the third day your lashes are all like they're one and it's awful mac extreme dimension 3d black lash i think this was nice i don't fully remember but i think it was nice oh another eyeshadow this is the Amite eyeshadow in neck this was just like a nice brow bone highlight shade but not something I'd really purchase because you can't get it's not like easy to get here. Um, one brow pencil, the Revolution one that's got like a spoolie on one end, and then like the triangular pencil. Didn't really like that. Bang Beauty eyebrow cream in dark brown. Um, this dried out by the time I got to use it, so I only managed to use half it. Didn't really get like to form an opinion. Two of these brow kits, I've got the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit in medium brown, which I would repurchase this one. Um, I've also got the Natural Collection Brow Kit. I'm not a big fan of brow powders, so this one I only finished the powder because it did kind of break and I couldn't be able to repress it. This one, the wax just wasn't great, so I prefer the Rimmel to this one. And I've got some brow gels, the Collection Colour Lash. Mascara and Clear. This was nice, but it just lasted so long, and like they get really manky, that I would rather buy my Elf Brow and Lash Clear Mascara things because they're three pounds. They last me about two months. I don't think it's bad going, but, and they set your brows really nicely. I have for lip balms six lip balms and a lip scrub. The lip scrub is from Wilkinsons. Um, just that apricot scrub. It smelled good, it tasted good, but I just don't think that was like necessary to my life. Um, the Nivea Original Care, this thing is nice, it just melts like nobody's business. And the Nivea Cherry Shine, which smelled amazing, but I'm kind of over red tinted lip balm. Dr. Pawpaw Original Balm, oh, I hated this, do not get the hype. This lip balm, um, like a little free gift we purchased that my neighbour was doing on her online boutique and she just gave me one. It was nice. Carmex, my favourite. Just the best lip balm for me. In my opinion, it's the best lip balm. Love it. Oh. Not have many I said does next one. I've got my Love Hearts Raspberry Lip Balm. This is nice but like nothing spectacular. And the Maybelline Baby Lips in Peach Kiss. If I could find these, do I still make baby lips? If they do, I would repurchase this just for like a no makeup day product because it's nice for that, but not great as like a lip balm. I've got one, two, three, four, five, ten lip liners. <laughs> I have two red ones. My sleek sugar apple twist up lip liner. I'm just gonna twist it up. It's all gone. This was nice. Um, just a bit too creamy for me for a red because I like to do red like all over my lips. This was the perfect, like this was a really nice formula for me for a red, the Essence Lip Liner in Femme Fatale. Also from that Essence line of like the one pound lip liners, I have whatever this one was, In the Nude and Satin Mauve. Loved Satin Mauve. In the Nude is not something I really need, but you can't get those lip liners anymore. Um, also the Sharp Pimple Lip Balms, I've got Dark Pink from Primark, which was like my old Holy Grail lip liner. They don't make that one anymore, I don't think. And then I've got the Davis Cosmetics wooden lip liner, shade 28. Um, if you don't know, my favourite empties are pencils when they get like itty bitty baby. I just think it's so satisfying. And then I have four retractable ones. I've got two of the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liners, which again, they don't make these ones either. Um, I've got Girl Next Door, um, which is like a nudie shade, and then Plum Cake, which I love. I wish I could repurchase, but I can't. Um, the Sleek, not Sleek, W7 Lip Twister in Rust, I have repurchased this. And my Holy Grail Lip Liner, of all lights, not absolute fave, the Collection Lasting Definition, whatever it's called, in Cappuccino. Um, I've got one that gloss, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker in Punch Bowl. Wouldn't repurchase that, glad that's gone. One traditional like bullet lipstick this the packaging is like broken on but it's from Barry M and it's 
the shade Truffle Shuffle. I don't know like what this line of lipsticks was, but it was like the really shiny ones. I'm not a fan. And then full liquid lipstick type products. This was a CLE Cosmetics a le Melting Lip Powder in Red Cherry. I hated this. Awful. Um, Barry M Map Me Up Lip Paint in Pose. I loved this colour and the formula. It just, oh it's, glad I've used it up because it smells a little bit off. Um, this just like leaks when it's in your bag, which is really annoying. And then these are both nude. I've got the Beauty Glazed in Dulce K. This is like a copy of the Kylie one. This was nice, but you can only get these in like a set of six, and I don't really need to repurchase the whole set. And then my favourite one, Collection Velvet Kiss and Caramel. My fave. So that is everything. That is all 122 products. I'm wondering if I can beat that next year. We'll have to just wait and see because that's crazy how much I finished. But like I said, we'll wait and see if I do, do beat it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your favourite makeup products from 2019. Like your favourite and your least favourite. They could be new discoveries, they could be like tried and true whatever, just the favourite things you've used up this year or discovered, I'd love to know. Always interested in trying new products, um, preferably drugstore, because <laughs> drugstore girl. But yeah, I hope you all had a successful makeup these up. Even if you only finished up 10 makeup items, like, that's still 10 products you've moved out of your collection. Like, I think that's the important way to look at it. Um, rather than thinking, oh, she's used up like 100 and I've only used up 10. We've all still done well. Um, so yeah, I wish you all a happy new year and a happy use up year. Like I hope we all meet our goals. But if you don't, still don't be disheartened. Like you've still done well. Because like a lip product or like, you know, different things take different amount of time. Like it's, to finish anything up that you wouldn't normally finish up. Like I'd, I always could get through foundation and powder and concealer. But like lip products for me are things like I do have to work on and like I shouldn't think. So yeah, it's all, it's all an achievement. Um, but I need to go, because I need to go deliver these party poppers to the pub because I'm filming this on Christmas Eve, not Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. And yes, but I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.